welcome to another Mornings with the Masters, where we devote ourselves to the Lord daily with you. This is the last day of our three-day plan that we've been doing in the Bible app. It is titled, Abba Father, Hear My Prayer, Draw Me Close. We've been going through the Psalms and then praying together. I hope it's been encouraging you in the way it is me. There is something about just scripture in general. You know what I mean? Just the word of God being all that we need. And so with that, I'm going to stop yapping and get into scripture. This is what it says. We are in Psalm 98. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful deeds. His right hand has won a mighty victory. His holy arm has shown his saving power. The Lord has announced his victory and has revealed his righteousness to every nation. He has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Israel. The ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break out in praise and sing for joy. Sing your praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and song, with trumpets and the sound of the ram's horn. Make a joyful symphony before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the earth and all living things join in. Let the rivers clap their hands in glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord. For he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. Psalm 103. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. He revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. He will not constantly accuse us nor remain angry forever. He does not punish us for all our sins. He does not deal harshly with us as we deserve. For his unfailing love towards those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. He has removed our sins as far from us as the East is from the West. Amen. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him, for he knows how weak we are. He remembers we are only dust. Our days on earth are like grass, like wildflowers. We bloom and die. The wind blows and we are gone as though we had never been here. But the love of the Lord remains forever with those who fear him. His salvation extends to the children's children of those who are faithful to his covenant, of those who obey his commandments. The Lord has made the heavens his throne. From there he rules over everything. Praise at the Lord, you angels, you mighty ones who carry out his plans, listening for each of his commands. Yes, praise the Lord you armies of angels who serve him and do his will. Praise the Lord, everything he has created, everything in all his kingdom. Let all that I am praise the Lord. James 1. Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. Today's prayer is this. Abba, Father, I am overcome with deep gratitude and thankfulness to you, for you are my Father, my beloved, and the Lord and love of my heart. You rescued, revived, and redeemed me. You filled me to overflowing with your light, your love, and your life. Although I was once barren, dead, and hostile towards you, still you sent your Son to die for me to take my sin, and in return give me Christ's righteousness and everlasting life. 
Apart from him, I would be nothing and have nothing. Your Holy Spirit now dwells within me and I am never alone. Thank you, Father. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for every good and perfect gift you have given me. Thank you especially for giving me yourself, the greatest gift of all. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, God. Now is the perfect time to turn on the worship music, break out your journal, and continue pressing in to him. Don't forget that you are God's masterpiece, that we love you, and we'll be seeing you tomorrow. Farewell. Thank you.